please click here to like this video your comments are welcome subscribe to get new videos hello and welcome to this training um in this video we are going to learn how to take off for an hvac system okay so let's take a critical look at it before i do that i would like to ask you this that as a quantity surveyor when you are giving um a model like this to take off how long will it take you let's see that in 3d okay so the question is this that how long will it take you to take off for this hvac systems the accessories the fittings the ducts the pipings the mechanical equipment how long will it take you if this is given to you probably what you will do is to fall on on the shadow that will be given on the side what if there are challenges with the model and it's not going to work you've estimated it and that is going to be the main uh, cost of the project so the, the the easiest thing to say is that okay then the mechanical engineer is responsible for it but if it were to be architecture you write a query to the architect to provide you with further information so it's the same thing you have to know how to take off for an hvac systems like this okay let's check our model let's check our model quickly and then we will come in here and check something out great so it's loading it's taking a while okay so this is our uh, so this is our our model our plan okay yeah so we have our main duct here that is connected to the air handling unit at the rooftop okay and then we have the the distributions okay being tapped in and then spread all across okay now when we look through here we have our um our supply duct here we have our return duct here okay and they are linked from the uh i mean from the rectangular duct we have it linked with a flexible duct now into the um the supply that we have here so we are going to find out for ducts for air terminals for return um diffusers we're also going to check out for the fittings that are connected with them we're also going to check the accessories okay that are in there when we move to the upper level we are going to look at the um, the cooling unit at the top we have the air handling units there and quite a number of mechanical equipment that are in the projects okay so we are going to take care of all those ones or see how we can cost or take off for those elements okay so quickly what do we do if this was given to us in pdf or card it would be difficult for us to get the actual works because it is not only on 2d but some of the uh, the ducts uh when you have them run there is a connection that runs from the top here to the air terminal depending on the level on which the the duct was placed so these are all very vital stuff which we ought to know but if it's given to you in beam or in revit um the work is as good as done because as I always say, when you have the work in Revit, um, so long as you see the model, what happens is that the quantities of it is already inbuilt. So you don't do it. You only extract it. That's the key thing. Now, let's see how we can extract this information. Once again, let's check out on our 3D. Okay. And this is what I was talking about. So now at this point, we have uh, our cooling tower okay that has all its connections and then is being driven back here we also have here our air handling unit okay and uh these are these are all mechanical equipment okay and um we have all the connections but before we even do that if we want to check whether the work was properly done okay all you need to do uh is to from analyze you come to show disconnect and then at this point what do you want to see the errors or the disconnections with if you want to check the system before you send a query to um, the mechanical engineer what you do is the um, click on this and then say okay and um, it will show you all the disconnects okay if there are challenges with it it will show you where all those challenges are and then we you can you can now send a query to them to fix it because if you should take off and there are errors in it you'll be you'll be getting a defective 
quantities okay and it's even worse when it's given to you in card or in revit or printed drawing and you have to take off you see that the drawings will be seriously defective okay so okay so in this case now we can see all the um kind of disconnects okay that are in the system okay and then when you see this you can now send a uh, query or questions to the services engineer or the MEP engineer for him to give you um, answers to them. For example, um, this warning sign we see here it said this element has an open connector. What it means is that the end of it is not capped. So here, okay, it's not capped. So when I click on it and I say cap open ends, you see that it's gone. That error is gone. It means that this duct at the end here is not capped and so it is seeing it as a warning. So this is just but a few things that can be done. But I'm not saying the quantum I should do it, but what I mean is that um, when you see these warnings, it means that there are, there are things that ought to be addressed and that makes your work easier. Now, let's um, take that off. Let's take this error signs off and then go quickly into the take off. Okay, so let's move straight into action. So it means that there could be or there are some warnings that ought to be addressed by the MEP engineers. But for us, let's pick up this project and see how we can extract the quantities from it. Okay, so we reverse this back to its position and now let's take off. So we come to analyze and we have schedules and quantities. So we click on that, this pops up. And what we ought to do is, you see, you have several disciplines that are here. Just uncheck everything and leave mechanical, okay? Because HVAC systems falls under mechanical. So when you leave it under mechanical, um you can say in fact if you want to check only that that fittings you can select that and do that individual shadows that you want but if you want to be able to take care of all the mechanical equipment and everything combined then choose multi-category but when you select that what you can do is that you can say uh let's label it as hvac as hvac shadow okay so when you say hvac shadow what we do here is we say okay okay so just some few steps so now uh it's a multi-category stuff we're going to do what are the items you want to have in our uh in our table we want to have category i want to have comment i want to have cost i want to have count i want to have if you want description you can you can get it there or one family and type i want to see all my works in a particular but per level okay so that one is set here I come down here um you want to see what again type mark um you are no um so i think i'm set with it now i can work with this uh now let's rearrange it i want the category to be the first i want from i want description to be next to it okay by the table i want to come to family and type which is next if comments is that i have no problem if cost and count i want cost and count to be coming down down our type mark to be up and then if i have it arranged like this i'm cool with that now let me click on okay and then you see how all the things now are going to be extracted now with this small with this little arrangement that we did it's going to pull out all the data that is connected to mechanical engineering and bring it here okay Okay, so with the little activity we've done, or the, with this little settings we've done, it has pulled out all the HVAC items here for us. So look at it, air terminal, uh, and this air terminal is in level two, and the type mark of it is two. You have air terminal, which is one, and it's on level one, the count is one. So these are it, quite a lot of them. You see, when you check the scroll, you can scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and you see it's a lot of items. Okay, so um now we want to know how to um sort them out okay so that we will know level by level like what type of air terminals do we have and what's the capacity and what but all the things that you want to know you can you can have them extracted so the next thing you do if you want them sorted out just come to sorting and grouping at the properties okay uh it says sort by let's sort it by by category and then let's do that by level uh let's bring in a footer and then a blank line let's have it in ascending order and i think that should be it for us to sort it out but don't don't also forget that we have itemized every instance which means that every every item is going to be itemized so we say okay 
and it's even what you have here is itemized you see it's, it's being counted individually okay so that it's going to group all of them together for us to see it so just a moment and you can see all the air terminals are grouped at one point um all the air terminals in the system see all these are the level one now level two okay all the level two uh and don't forget some are return diffuses some are exhaust some are uh supply and you have all, all these ones in there and you see how many of them how many of the air terminals do we have 309 okay you have 309 and then they are all air terminals okay but let's say we wanted to have it separated so that if you have diffusers it's separated differently if you have um um let's say supply um terminals they are also made differently all you all you need to do is to just come and then say hey give me give it to me let me sort it out by family and type okay and then i also want to be able to know that the quantity of it when it is counted so all i need to do is to come to formatting and then i say when you pick on count give me the total of the counts that i need uh, let me come to yeah so that will solve that problem for me okay so that will calculate it for me and then at the sorting and grouping we say we are doing it by family and type and then we are doing it by level so we say okay um so when you say okay it is going to go into the system and then regroup them for you and now we can see that it is going to be grouped now into the family and type so we wouldn't have it uh in those ways so now look at it uh specialty equipment okay and these are those specialty equipments that we have because you have mechanical equipment in it so take note of that and these are they they are grouped the quantity we have in there are three we have cable trays okay which are 17 in number okay so now every item now the conduit features everything that you want is now being grouped into appropriate uh instance for you now look at it. the flexible ducts we have we have 113 of them and this is the quantity the pipe fittings you have you have um seven of that and so look these are stuff which you want these are stuff which you need okay and these are these are how we group them in fact if even you don't want them to be itemized and you want them to be grouped in a way that will be easier for you to work on all you need to do is just come to sorting and group and say don't itemize every instance and say okay when you do that you can see that it will now you are now going to have a reduce or a summary versions of all the stuff so you see now all the cable trees are in there are 17 and it's just here like that so now you can check out the quantity um, of everything that you have in fact if even they have given you a shadow okay um, printed in pdf or something all you ought to do is just verify it against what you have in the system okay so every uh fitting that you need every accessory that you need if you go through it you can get it assuming it's even so um clumsy so you you can't even make them out it's simple i'll show you something when you come into filter you can use the filter to even make it easier for you so i can say look filter by uh filter by categories for me and then I want categories that are equal to, um, let's choose air terminals. Okay. So you say, I want categories. I want you to sort only the air terminals out for me. So you say, okay. And all the other things will go off and you only see the air terminals. Okay. So these are the air terminals we have. You have, um, okay. So the exhaust grill rectangular hosted these are the then you have your return diffusers you have your supply diffusers you have 109 of them and then is there it's here so all the terminals in level one is two for the exhaust uh grill rectangular hosted now when you come to level two for the same thing you have four and here you have two and then when you come into the air terminals at this point level two you have 28 level three you have that so everything that you want is broken down you see the various floors that you are, that you have level one is the ground floor level two is the first floor level three is the second floor so it's clearly indicated and the counts here are also very clear okay so this is what we mean by the efficiency of beam so look it's great you learn how to use this beam software 
and then uh, you master it because that is the way forward. If you check all the European countries, if you check the Americas, if you check the Asian countries, everybody globally is migrating to Bing. So uh, yes, it's good. You know how to use the manual means to take off. You know how to use every system. You know how to use the calculator. But the way forward, the next step that we have is Beam. Beam is for now. If you are if you are not Beam compliant, you can't work in certain countries. You can't work in certain places. Please, if you want to know how to get some of these training or maybe enroll in our complete Revit for quantum surveyors, I'll I'll add a link down there. Please check it out and then um, click to enroll. Okay. Thanks so much for your time, and um, I wish you a great day. Bye-bye. Please click here to like this video. Your comments are welcome. Subscribe to get new videos.